All right, I went ahead and took the bumper cover off because I'm needed to work on the headlights anyway. They've got moisture in them and it'll make it easier uh, later whenever I get ready to pull the cam out of it. Um, the uh, one tricky thing is there's bolts right here that hold the, the corner of it on, but there's clips that go right here and right here and that's what holds it. And the way I got it off is I watched somebody on, on a YouTube video show pull this up, get a little tension on it coming up over the fender, and then just kind of wiggle it. I had to it, it, I had to wiggle it quite a bit and then get it to pop loose. Once once I wiggled it, it it popped loose from there. And did that on both sides. Um, and of course you got the push pins in the fin, uh, in the fender well besides the boat this one only had one this car had been worked on uh evidently it's been hit in front because it's got a crack in the uh air dam down there as well and a couple other little things i could tell somebody's had the front end off of it before so uh had a you know wasn't exactly back like it should um you know i've got the uh aftermarket uh uh transmission cooler so i just cut it loose because it's just tie wrapped to my fan shroud to pull air through it but i just got it broke loose it'll go down i've got to take the power steering lines loose on either end and then i'll just be able to pull this up out of the way when i get ready to pull the cam out but right now it's fine where it's at i'm gonna start uh taking some of the heater hose loose and start getting to the intake and coals and stuff get the valve covers off next